go Wednesday, huh, okay? Wednesday. Oh, what, a, what a horrible day that was in the 2009-10 season, the day we got relegated to League One. We knew it was going to be a tough day, but Christ, what, what, what led to it and led afterwards? I mean, we could have gone out of business the year after, we could have gone into administration and gone out of existence. Uh, but we didn't. I mean, we're lucky we didn't. But and Milan Mandrik, oh, I've got so much respect for him because he brought the club back from the brink. 
he did an incredible job and um, yeah what leads what led after uh, the following two seasons after were just incredible
you could not make this up. Well, I, I cannot believe what Stern John did. I really can't believe it. Because a return pass to Ambrose ends the game, ends the pressure, finishes off. And the keeper's coming again. Five added minutes were shown, and we're into the fifth. Well, Thomas Burst coming across to take the throw here. And you know, Lee That's Grant might as well get off. Unbelievable. Incredible. Tommy Spurs throw. Where will it go? It will go into the hands of Spironi. And a cry of anguish from behind his goal. The game has absolutely lived up to its billing. It has been incredible from start to finish. Stern John's offside, the Palace fans thought it was the final the whistle, it's not. Just looking down at the bench there, Paul Hart puts his hand in his head thinking, the last thing you want to do is be in an offside position, which, the, which they can take a free kick to put us back under pressure. Stern John is standing the wrong side off the kick. Well, Huge. Mike Dean saying take the ball back, Lee Grant, and take it from the correct position. Sheffield Wednesday score here, I'll tell you what, the Sheffield Churches will be packed next Sunday. In it goes. Up go the heads, little flick on by Spur, it's behind from McCarthy. It's finished, Mike Dean's blown his whistle, and Sheffield Wednesday are relegated, and Crystal Palace have survived by the skin of their teeth. There was no time for Wednesday to take the corner. They are distraught, they are desperate, they are relegated. What a day, what a day this was, the day we got promoted against Wickham Wanderers at Hillsborough. I will never forget the atmosphere during this match, it was utterly incredible. The balloons flying, we even had a paddling pool um, being carried around on the cop, it was just utterly amazing. I mean I felt incredibly nervous before the match, as I had my bacon sandwich in the morning. Um, and just trying to chill out before the big game but utterly incredible day I mean running onto the pitch at the final whistle I will never forget it and we're singing the city is ours oh what a day this was and it was just and better still it was at the expense of our rivals Sheffield United it was brilliant utterly brilliant Touch here for Mel Ranger, docking in the weight, comes into Antonio. This is Mick Antonio! Eruption! Just listen! Hillsborough is rocking because Wednesday had the goal to Carabinos and made the deal of Lord's Club to the Championship.
they must win this game, and so far, doing just that. Here's Chris Lines with the free kick. In by Lines, Rangers header!
I think they knew that their day was going to be another time. Wembley, wow. What a journey that season was under Carlos Cavallio. We were brilliant for Wednesday during that year. It was a shame we didn't win the final. But what a day it was in all. It was such a good day out. I mean I mean the beers were expensive, it was five pounds a pint. Whip off. But you know, what a day it was on a whole. It was just fantastic. The atmosphere were incredible. Uh, all the Wednesday fans were singing for the whole 90 minutes. It was just in, it was, it was just an incredible sight to see. It was um, one of the best days I think I've ever gone to a match as a Wednesday fan. Despite the defeat, it was just brilliant. Uh, the whole day was just fantastic. Hartlepool, the 2005 playoff final in which Wednesday beat Hartlepool United 40. I wasn't there personally, but I had it on the radio, and I can remember when Joel Paul, John Paul McGovern scored that first goal. The atmosphere, from what I heard on the radio, was incredible. I wish I was there, and gutted I wasn't, but what a day to get promoted back to the championship. Brilliant, and definitely Lee Bullen will be remembered as a Wednesday legend. What a man! Strachan sweeps it in right foot and bending away from goal. It's a header and a goal! Wednesday are behind, not an in. Hartlepool have the lead. They've come back from a goal down. John Daly, what an introduction! He's only been on the field to play a minute, and with his first touch, he puts Hartlepool in front. And Wednesday's chances of championship football are fading away. McGovern is there to take it. McLean makes himself available. Right corner of the Hartlepool penalty area. Where's he going with this? Back from McGovern. He curls one in. And there's Talbot. He snatched it. In. Might get a second penalty, chance. Penalty, penalty. Yeah, the referee's blown Thank a penalty. You. Drew Talbot was clipped there as he went for the ball. Wednesday have a lifeline and a route possibly back into the game. Steve McLean, you would think, will take it. What a moment this could be. Absolutely, they've called it straight away. Andre, I sent him off. He's off. Westwood's gone. Three months out of the game with a stress fracture in his foot. On as a substitute on one of the biggest arenas in football. He is facing the mighty Dimi Constantopoulos from 12 yards out. McLean to put Wednesday back in the match. Maka is back. He has found the back of the net. Steve McLean is back. His 20th goal of the season. Wednesday will not go down without a fight. McLean, but there's Whelan. Chance for Glenn Whelan. McLean peels off. Still Glenn Whelan! Yes. Oh! Glenn Whelan for Sheffield Wednesday! What a goal! What a moment! A magic moment from the Irishman. Tolbert is beyond the last man. He's going to bear down on goal. This would really wrap it up. Drew Tolbert round the goalkeeper. Yes! to the championship and it's the teenager who guarantees championship football what a dramatic end to a dramatic game Lee Bullen, Lee Bullen the captain of Sheffield Wednesday his first season as captain what a way to end it Right.